to bring about the death of Father Alvi. Our immediate response is why? It happened Anthony, our seminary, that told me that Father Alvi died. I almost asked, who? Because I could not see Father Alfi dying so soon. So the question is being asked, why? But the question is not to be answered by a medical explanation. I am not asking for the reason that is indicated in his death certificate. I am resting with God. And I'm asking God, why does a 43 year old priest die so soon only after four years of ministry? In a situation like this, you would understand why sometimes you can be angry with God. Sometimes we can be resentful against God. Because in a situation like this, then you start to whisper, life is very unfair. But I did not come here to lead you into a protest. I came here to ask with you why. And uh, as a brother in the Lord, I am struggling for an answer. I am groping for an answer in the darkness, and I have no answer. So the only explanation is the whole life of Father Alvis ministry is how he died. It was a gift of mystery. When I ordained Father Alvi four years ago, I told him to his students, you know Alvi, the Lord deserves a better man than you. I think the Lord should choose better priests than us. But we are priests not because we pass the comprehensive exams, we are priests not because we pass the scrutinies. We are priests because God is a mystery and every vocation is a mystery. And every day of his life as a priest, he celebrated the mysteries of God. And on his last day as a priest, he was still celebrating the great mysteries of our faith. So we will not be able to grasp why God allows young, newly ordained priests in the middle of their lives to pass away so suddenly, so unexpectedly, so quickly even. And I struggle, I wrestle with God, and I say to God, Lord, I cannot really understand you. But even if I cannot understand you, I will not resist, I will not fight you, I submit to you because we know that life like death, vocation like ministry, is a mystery. God chose Father Alfie and I to be son and father at ordination. But in these last years of Father Alfie's mortal life, I knew that Father Alfie had chosen me to be his father, not just by the laying on of hands, but by allowing me to walk with him in his struggles, in his pains as a young priest. And I will forever treasure that. And I did not lose any chance to tell Father Alti 
I was very grateful for his openness to me. But the other reason why we are here, celebrating the short priestly ministry of Father Alvi, is to say to the Lord that the death of Father Alvi is still a gift of mercy. It is a gift of mercy. To end our lives in the earth and to enter into life everlasting and to live forever in the Father's house. How can something be better than that? So, it is as it were God in the Eucharistic table saw among us look at us and saw among us somebody who is most deserving of life everlasting at the time. And the Lord said, Come. And Father Alfie knew that voice. He knew that voice when he answered God's call to be a priest. And he knew that voice every time the Lord asked him to die, even if he was still breathing. To die, even if because Father Alfie in the last four years had died many times. So that Father, so that when Father Alfie heard God's voice, come follow me, come die with me. He heard it instantly and rose up instantly and followed the Lord. Not in death, but unto life everlasting. So Father Alfie's death is a mystery for us. It is also a gift of mercy for him because God wanted him to live as a priest, to live always as a priest, and to die as a priest. But as I said, at 43 and 4 years of priest, that leaves so many things incomplete from our human reckoning. And therefore, this afternoon, as we bid him to die, as we say to the Lord, Lord, we cannot understand, but we accept. We also say to Father Alfi, whatever you left incomplete, we will continue. Because the mission of Father Alfi is not just the mission of Alfi. The mission of Father Alfi is the mission of Jesus. Priest will be ordained, priest will also die. But the mission of Jesus continues. Because the mission of Jesus does not depend on human beings. The mission of Jesus is Jesus himself. So, Father Alfi, thank you. Thank you for serving us. Thank you for courage. Thank you for struggling in the darkness. Thank you for serving the poor. Your death is a gift of mercy for you. We do not feel it is a gift of mercy for us. Because we have heard. We are confused. We are in deep, deep pain. That only the Lord can understand. That I'll be blessed with the Lord. And the mission that the Lord has entrusted to you has come to an end. That the mission that you embraced is now our mission. We will carry on. Alfie, I want to make an act of faith that because you have passed on so early and so quickly, the mission will flourish in the water because a priest's seed has died in the ground. And I know it will be an abundant. about the harvest. Rest well out. Free at last. <laughs>